Hey y'all. This is it. This is video one. There's no going back. <sighs> Side note, I don't know. I don't know why I'm bugging my eyes out so much. Like, I didn't realize there was something I do. You're gonna have to live with it. If you don't know already, this is Lauren Sab, this YouTube channel right here that you've clicked on. And if you have, thank you. Hi, you are one of the first original viewers because we're just starting to post right now. Hi, my name is Sabrina. I will be the sab half of the equation. Lauren is Laura, as you can already probably guess. You've met her already. She posts every Tuesday and I will be posting every Wednesday. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I want it to be a plethora of a lot of different things. I feel like Lauren and I, we both have so much to offer, both of us, but at the same time, we can come together and be funny and exciting and we both love music so there's lots of exciting things coming but I wanted to start here in the morning I am still in bed but I thought today would be really fun since it's my first video technically I thought it would be fun to do sort of a get ready with me thing like and kind of like a makeup tutorial thing because I also love makeup apart from music and I thought I'd just spout some facts about myself and answer some common questions to get for you guys to get to know me better so y'all as you can see we're still in bed but i'm gonna get off i'm gonna start this day i'm gonna get ready it's gonna be fun we're just gonna hang out it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be a good time hope you guys keep watching and once again, this is Sab signing out. Run. Run. And we're back. I'm gonna start getting ready now. It's 12, not the morning anymore, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna get ready. Here we go. I'm back yet again, still not getting ready yet. But I decided so I don't look like, like I completely just rolled out of bed for the majority of this entire video, I thought I'd change into something a little cuter, a little more like day at the spa thing, like we're getting ready together, rather than pajama homeless. And I want to try and be a cool YouTuber. I want to see if this will work. I'm going to snap and then hopefully if this works right i'll be in my next outfit so we're gonna try and do this bear with me here people first video all right one two three i'm back um let's hope that worked i could look completely terrible but i'm gonna hope that it didn't so yeah here we are so as you can see i changed into a kind of dress kind of like a like a sundress type of thing. There we go. There we go! Ooh, ooh! Today for this makeup, I wanted to do kind of my everyday makeup since today is kind of like a get to know me type of video on days that I'm just like hanging out with friends or doing something fun. We'll call this a quick, on-the-go glow. That's what we'll call it. That's where we're gonna go with. On a side note, please ignore this humongous, oh my god, and these nails, oh lord. Oh. Back to the regularly scheduled programming. For the first step of my makeup, I always use a moisturizer, and I have been using the Glossier Priming Moisturizer for a while now. As you can see, it's almost out. I've gotta get some more, but this stuff is a wonderful. It doesn't leave your skin too tacky or anything, but 
it's a very good moisturizer I love Glossier I love their products um, I've also tried their solution um, let's see their face wash their jelly cleanser is amazing not sponsored but totally wouldn't be bad if if you know Glossier you want to send me some samples just kidding all jokes aside, their products are great. For the first step, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about myself. My name is Sabrina. Um, I'm not a witch. Not, I'm not that I'm aware of, at least, but that would be really cool. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Um, I'm 20 years old. I am from Orange County, born and raised. I've never moved out of Orange County yet, but we'll see what the future holds. And yeah. <laughs> but I a lot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that in. We're, we'll see. We'll see how uh how confident I'm feeling. Yeah. Okay. Here's a tip. I was thinking, what do most people do? Do they do their eyes first and then their foundation, or their foundation and then their eyes and like the brows? I can do it either way. I kind of have been doing my eyes first recently because I found that some eyeshadow, the fallout will fall into the foundation and then just wiping it away, it'll just end up looking really muddy and messy. I think today we're gonna stick with that. We're gonna do our eyes and our eyebrows first. For this, I'm going to use my Juno & Co um, Beauty Blender type sponge thing. It's so soft, it literally feels like velvet and it leaves um, the makeup looking so flawless on your skin. For the base, don't at me, but we're going to use none other than the Shape Tape Concealer. And I am shade Fair. I'm not sure if this is the lightest shade in the whole collection. It might be. But yeah, I'm pretty fair. So yeah, we're gonna just put this all over the eyes. And I'm just putting it all over my eyelids right here. And then up here and around the eyebrows, kind of getting all the all the spots around the eyes. With this being a little damp, we're going to pat this around the eyelid and around your eyebrows. So while I'm doing this, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit of what I like to do when I'm not working. I like to sing a lot. I love music. Um, I'm actually doing college online currently um, with Berklee College of Music. Um, I'm getting my bachelor's degree. I'm about halfway done um, and that's been really fun. So yeah, I like to sing. I like to play the piano. I like to play the guitar. Um, and I also like to write music and I want to learn about the production side of it and how to produce my own music. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm learning in the school. Let's see, this looks pretty nice and blended. Very good. And now we can move on to our eyeshadow. So I have a lot of makeup palettes. I recently got the James Charles Artist Palette, which has been amazing. I took it to Coachella, which I went to recently. I went to weekend one, which I might do a whole video on because it was such a cool experience. But today we're not gonna use the James Charles Palette. We are going to use the Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte. It's kind of just a pretty palette. Let's see, can you see yourself? There's my iPhone. <laughs> there you guys are. And here's the palette. Before we let the concealer, which we're using as our base dry, we gotta start on the eyeshadow. To start off with, I'm using a bigger um, eyeshadow brush. This is the Morphe B13 brush. And I'm taking the lightest shade of the palette called Charmer. It's almost white. And I am using the mirror here. I'm just packing it kind of all over, but mostly in the inner corner to just brighten up the base and kind of create an overall eyeshadow, eyeshadow base. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
a lighter color eyeshadow base for the rest of the colors. You know, you start with the lighter ones, then you, you get darker in the crease. I don't know, that's just what James Charles has taught me. But I like to think I'm pretty good at makeup. I love makeup. I wear a lot of makeup for work, which I might talk on later. I don't want to get too specific about my work. I might talk about it um, in a later video. But yeah, that's a big part of my life, is my work, too. But yeah, once you've got a white or a lighter base on, you can move on to working in that crease. So I'm going to switch brushes now to a smaller one. I'm going to use the Morphe M441 brush. I'm going to use the color Sweetheart, which is kind of like a nice brown, but it almost has like a nice pinky undertone. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, you can kind of see it. I want to put that more on the lid because we are going to get a little darker in the crease there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, school. But I am actually taking a break this quarter to focus more on work, getting professional work in the entertainment industry, which is ultimately what I want to do with my career. I love to act a lot. Um, I want to act in films. And to do that, you have to constantly audition, which is very time consuming. This quarter, I decided I just really, really want to focus on that and doing YouTube. So we've put Sweetheart all over our eyes a little bit. It's more of a transition shade, I think I would call it. But yeah, it's looking nice. I have switched brushes yet again, still using Morphe though, because they are great. And again, not sponsored, but would love to be sponsored. That was terrible. We're gonna dip into the color Rebel. Um, I thought I would share some fun facts about myself. I am five foot, 10 inches tall. I like being tall most of the time. You can reach things. It's cool. Sometimes people ask how the weather is up here. The weather isn't any different. It's just, you... My favorite food ever is mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes so much. Macaroni and cheese. Pizza. Yum. Now I'm just really hungry. I go to Starbucks a lot more than I should. But my go-to Starbucks drink has been the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with light ice. But this eyeshadow, what do we think? I wanted to use this shimmery color. We're just gonna use this little tiny, more pointed brush. We're going to put this closer to the inner corner of your eye. What I have recently been doing is I've been taking this Pixie Glow Mist. You could just spritz your brush a little bit. Like, let's see, I'll do that right now. You go like that. Whoop. There we go. You guys got spritzed a little bit. You're glowing now. There we go. Woo! Okay, now that the brush is nice and damp. There we go, much better. You can see that the shimmer is now much more vibrant on the lid. But yeah, that's what we're thinking. So we are moving on to eyebrows. What I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Palmade, which is bomb. I use it in blonde because I am a blonde, as you can see. I am a natural blonde, but in more recent years, um, I have been highlighting my hair. I'm just taking a small angled brush. Um, this one's pretty cheap. It's literally called Small Angled Brush from e.l.f. I just got this at Target. We are going to dip in. Look at that. We're gonna dip in a little bit. I didn't say this before. This makeup is more like a, a quick, um, kind of a clean look without having to do all the cleanup of the concealer and stuff. We're not going to do all that because um, this we're lazy. Yeah, 
I'll, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna lie about it. We're just, we're lazy. Sometimes we just do this like 20 minutes before leaving the house. So ain't no time to clean up. Yeah, use your finger. <laughs> this is going good. It is definitely darker than my hair color, but I feel like your brows a lot of the time should be a little darker than the hair on your head. And periodically, I like to just kind of brush it with this. One brow done. I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole other brow. I'm gonna do it off camera. We're back, y'all. We've got some eyeshadow and we've got some brows on. Um, that's literally it. It's just the base eyeshadow and some eyebrows. Um, no foundation yet. I'm trying to decide if we wanna do some eyeliner. Maybe not. I'll just show you guys what I like to do to create more of a eyeliner illusion, but you're not wearing eyeliner, it's just eyeshadow. You're back sitting on a tub of Vaseline for a tripod. That's where we're at, folks. Okay, we are going to use the same brush we wet um, to use a sparkle. We're gonna take the darkest brown shade. It's called Leader. We're gonna dip into that a little bit. And along our lash line almost, we are going to smudge this to create more of a smoky look and just lead it upwards. You don't see it now, but it will tie in the look when we add some mascara. And it'll make your eyes pop a little bit. What else haven't I told you guys? I'm single as a Pringle. That's it. Boys are dumb. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say for now. I have two cats. Their names are Flynn and Elsa. Let me go get them. This is Elsa. I saw her earlier, just a little bit. Say hi. She's almost a year and a half old. She's pretty shy. Oh, oh, she's sniffing me. So this is her. And this is Flynn. They are not brother and sister, or they're not related at all. Got them when they were just little babies. I just woke him up from sleeping. He's got green eyes. They both have green eyes, and you'll probably see them a lot in my videos. I'm obsessed, obsessed with cats. We are going to move on to the skin and foundation. We are going to use the Pixie Cosmetics, um, the Pixie Glow Mist. You just shake it up a little bit, then we're just gonna spray it on our faces. It just makes your skin so glowy and fresh and it makes a good base for the foundation to stick to. For the foundation, we are going to use Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. We used the concealer before and we're going to use the hydrating foundation. It has kind of like the same applicator and you put it around your face. You don't have to put too much. The coverage on this is pretty good. I'd say it's medium, not super full, but definitely buildable. I'm using the Juno & Co velvety sponge thing, which is wonderful. And I'm just patting it around my face. Let's see, what else can I tell you guys? I am an only child, just me and my cats. It's a good time. So you just kind of work it around the eyeshadow. You can get like a little brush and smooth it or even just a q-tip and smooth a line just to make it more blended. And if you remember, we already put some concealer around our eyebrows. If the colors blend with the foundation, then you don't gotta do too much work, which is great. And remember to blend down your neck, folks. No one likes a harsh foundation line. So smooth, so hydrated, so pretty. We're going for lower coverage, you know, natural, dewy look. So we're gonna move on and set the face a little bit. And we are using our Laura Mercier tried and true translucent powder. And I just like to put 
pat some of the powder into the top here. We're going to use this big brush thing. We're not baking right now, essentially. We're just kind of patting some powder on top of the spots that have more danger of creasing. And once you do put powder all over them, then you can kind of just dust more translucent powder over everywhere. My method probably is not the best, but it works for me. There we go. And now it's time to make this face look less ghostly. We are going to use Physician's F Formula Butter Bronzer. This one's more finely packed in than the other one. It's more dense, I'd say. We're gonna take our mirror and go along the cheekbones. So since in music is such an important part of my life, I thought I would share what I'm currently listening to. Because I, for one, always like to find new music. And a lot of the times you can find that out by just seeing what other people are listening to. So currently I have just literally been listening to only Casey Musgraves because I saw her at Coachella during golden hour during weekend one and it was amazing. And I just fell in love with her and I've been obsessed ever since. And after I do that, I like to take whatever powder, whatever Laura Mercier powder I left inside the lid here, and I just take that other brush that I was using before, and I put it underneath the line that I chose to contour with, but it just, you know, it makes more of a defined contour there. Oh, but what I was getting back to, what I'm currently listening to. All Casey Musgraves, one of my favorite songs of hers is actually Happy Sad. I don't know why, I just think it's so beautiful. I like High Horse too. Oh, Velvet Elvis, mm, I love it. I've recently discovered Ava Max. She does a Sweet But Psycho song, which is really fun. Billie Eilish. I also saw her at Coachella, and even though I was already like falling in love with her, I just fell in love with her even more, because she's such a performer. She gets so into it, and it just got the, the whole crowd so into it. And while I'm doing this, I am using CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. It actually smells like peaches. I don't wear blush every day. If I don't have time to do a certain step of my makeup, I will definitely always skip blush. Because to me, my face already kind of has a natural flush, pink flush to it. And you just do it on um, the apples of your cheeks. And we're almost done. We're going to highlight. This is Wet n Wild and this highlight is everything. I'm not kidding. It is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade of Blossom Glow, which kind of has a pinky like tone to it. But this is like without wetting my brush or anything. It just makes the nicest glow. Ooh! We're gonna take some setting spray and amplify this glow a little bit. Yes, that is a tattoo. It is a music note. It is an eighth note. I got it on my 18th birthday. Um, yes, we are using the Morphe setting spray. We're gonna spray it a little bit, spritz it up, shake it, give it a good blow on for good look. And we're just gonna make the glow seen from outer space, basically. If you're still with me, wow. I am very impressed that you sat through this. We're just kind of putting on the finishing touches. There we go. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Ooh, there's cat hair all over it. Love that, love that. It is the Benefit Roller Lash. I need to get a new eyelash curler. 
so I just do not have one. But I think it makes your eyes look so nice. Oh, look at that. Just makes such the difference. And here we go. Here is the finished eye look. You can see um, the contour and the highlight. I love the highlight. Yeah, I'm happy about how this turned out. And then we are just going to spritz it with some setting spray. You shake it, shake it up a little bit. And then you just close your eyes and spray away. It smells so good. But yeah, there's a face. And we'll just finish it off with a lip. We are going to use the Kylie lip, let's see, is it a matte lip? I'm pretty sure is it, a, it is a velvet lip, but it's called Charm, and it's just kind of this pretty pinky tone, kind of terracotta orange. Here is a close-up view. Very pretty. It's kind of quick, kind of not, but you'll, you'll be glowing, especially if you have that highlighter. And yeah, now I've got to do something with this rat nest of hair I've got. So, uh, this hair today, I just decided to put it into a high ponytail today and kind of just brush my bangs. What I'm doing later is I have a dance class. Lauren and I and our other friend Maria, we all have a dance class together every Monday. So you'll probably see them later. The gang will be all together. It'll be super fun. But since we have a dance class, like, I'm gonna put my hair up anyway, so I thought, might as well just do it now. And I am wearing, I don't know if you can see it, a scrunchie. It is a velvet pink scrunchie. This color here is like one of my favorite colors. I love it and I love scrunchies. And I'll show you my outfit. This jacket is from Zaffle. It's super cozy, super soft. It's like a cotton. Um, my top, I'm not sure where it's from. I think I got this at Forever 21 years ago, but it's kind of just a top with like a, a cutout for some extra added style. Um, and then my leggings are high-waisted, they are purple, they are Fabletics. I hope you guys like this look. You can see it's very glowy. If you were to buy like anything, I would just want you guys to get the highlight, like the Wet n Wild. It's so cheap, it's so good, it's so pretty. And yeah, if you made it this far, in all seriousness, like thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. This is my, my first video on this channel, Lauren Sab. It's lit, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a fun time. Um, we see each other at least once a week. Um, and summer's coming up, so I hope that'll increase. I really want to um, do music stuff on here, makeup, lifestyle, um, relationship advice, or maybe just not advice, but just like talking on topics. Um, Q and A's, vlogs, vlogs are so fun. Um, just like everything. Um, things I'm knowledgeable about, like acting and singing and auditioning and um, the entertainment business in general. And of course, Lauren and I will film together and we'll do challenges and all this cool stuff. Like the opportunities are endless for this channel. For now, we're just Lauren and Sab. We're best friends, best buds, who just really wanted to start a YouTube channel and who are really excited about it. So yes, if you like what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe y'all for more quality content like this. I might show you guys a little later, like a little, little vlog content, but we'll see. So if you don't see me any later, I'm just gonna say bye for now and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. And now we are at 